Please note that filming text on the whiteboard requires extremely bright studio lighting. Subsequently, sunglasses were worn during the filming of this video to prevent damage to my retinas. A note on how to use these sessions. Jot down the notes as we go, so we'll help you learn the material in a more interactive way, and you can use them as study notes later. Also, in the small chance that the discrepancy arises between the professor's notes and mine, always go with your professor. They're the one grading you. Lastly, any examples or analogies used in this session are not meant to support or criticize politics, religion, or lifestyle. They're merely learning tools to help understand the material. All right, guys and girls, it's time to get cracking. All right, so in today's session, we're going to be talking about amines, nitrogen compounds. And believe it or not, you already know a bunch of information about amines already from reactions we've done up until this point. For example, we've already seen amines act as nucleophiles, as acids, as bases, and as leaving groups. So we've already seen how amines, these nitrogen compounds, react in a bunch of different settings already. So that means in today's session, we're going to be combining a bunch of information you already know about amines, going a little bit more in depth, and then introducing you to a couple new reactions that these nitrogen compounds will undergo, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so how I want to start out this session is a little bit different from how we normally do it. Because since we already know a lot of information about amines from stuff we've done in the past, I feel like we should refresh our memory a little bit. And how I want to do that is by putting up an outline of all the reactions we've seen amines undergo up until this point, and then going over several practice problems to illustrate how these nitrogen compounds, these amines, reacted in all of those situations. Okay, so hey, let's go ahead and put up an outline. I'll have you copy down that outline, and then we'll go through several practice problems to remind us of how these amines reacted in all those situations we've seen in the past, okay? Okay, so this is an outline of the majority of reactions we've seen amines undergo. And the reason I say majority is because this isn't a complete list of all the reactions that amines can undergo, right? Because, hey, we said that amines, nitrogen compounds, can act as nucleophiles, as leaving groups, as acids, and as bases. But in these reactions, I've just listed up the reactions where amines, nitrogen compounds, act as nucleophiles. Okay, so, hey, we'll see later the reactions where amines act as acids, bases, and leaving groups. But first, I wanted to refresh your memory on the reactions where amines acted as nucleophiles. Because, hey, first and foremost, amines, nitrogen compounds, are known for their nucleophilic character. They're known to be nucleophiles, okay? So, hey, this is a list of all the reactions where we've seen amines act as nucleophiles. Um, you'll also see that I've grouped all these reactions under the general heading of alkylation of amines. This is where we added alkyl groups, where we added carbon groups to amines. Okay, so in each one of these reactions where an amine acts as a nucleophile, it's adding to a carbon group, to stick carbon groups onto these nitrogen compounds. Okay, you're going to alkylate amines. So go ahead and take a few minutes to uh, copy all this stuff down. Hopefully as you're writing this stuff down, you should remember, hey, I remember reduction, I remember Gabriel thalamide synthesis. Okay, so hopefully this stuff looks a little familiar to you. If you're a little shaky on this stuff though, cool. We're gonna do a couple practice problems on all these reactions after that to refresh your memory even more. Okay, so hey, go ahead and take a few minutes to copy this stuff down. All right, so hopefully you got a chance to copy this outline down and you recognized a couple things along the way. Uh, what I want to do now is put up a few practice problems so we can illustrate these reactions. And while we're going through these practice problems, I want you to refer to this outline so that you can see how these reactions fit in with one another, okay? So hey, I'm going to go ahead and erase this and put up some practice problems for us to try. Okay, so I've put up six practice problems for you to try out, and believe it or not, you already know how to do each one of these reactions. We've done all of these reactions before, okay? So, hey, why don't you take a minute, hit pause in your DVD player, copy down all of these reactions, and give them a try. If they don't look completely familiar to you, then cool, that's why we're refreshing it right now, right? Okay, so hit pause in your DVD player, copy these down, give them a try, and then we'll come back and do them together, all right?
Okay, so in this first problem, we have NH3, a nucleophile, reacting with CH3Br, an alkyl halide. So what kind of reaction do you think this is going to do? Well, a nucleophile with an alkyl halide, these are the perfect ingredients for an SN2 reaction, a substitution reaction. So let's go ahead and write this up here. You have CH3Br, an alkyl halide, and you have NH3, a good nucleophile. So NH3 is going to come attack this alkyl halide, kick off the leaving group, And let me write this NH2H, and it just reacted and added a CH3 to it, putting a plus charge on that nitrogen. And I'm drawing this NH3 out like this as NH2 with an H coming off of it, because what's the next step that's going to happen? We have to deprotonate this H to give the nitrogen back its lone pairs to cancel out that positive charge, okay? Okay, so you've now attached your alkyl group, your CH3, onto your amine, but you put a plus charge on that nitrogen. How do you cancel out a plus charge? Deprotonate, right? Let's deprotonate this hydrogen that's hanging off here. So go ahead and just take some Br or whatever base you have in here that can come and deprotonate this hydrogen, kick the electrons back to the nitrogen to cancel out the positive charge. 